Here I've got a web application uh, hosted on GitHub Pages. So I have the code in my own repo. And in this video, I'm going to show how to clone your own repo to your local machine, edit with Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to use Visual Studio Code's uh, Git GUI uh, to pull add changes and push back to my GitHub Pages. Uh, so it's a little bit tutorial on Git and VS Code. Uh, to edit your GitHub Pages application. So first things first, I'm going to grab the URL of my Git repo, and I'm going to open VS Code. And first thing I'll do is navigate with the Explorer to open, uh, oh, well, the directory doesn't exist yet. So actually, first thing is to open the terminal. Any terminal will do, but I'm going to use the terminal built into VS Code. Uh, control backtick is the shortcut or view integrated terminal will get you there. And so the first step, once I have my git URL, is to use the clone command. So git clone will make a new directory with the same name as the repo. So once I've cloned it, I can cd into the directory game of life. Um, but actually I'm going to not use the tutorial the rest of the time. After I git clone, uh, I can find the folder in my home directory, select folder, and now all those files that were just on GitHub have been magically downloaded to the local machine. So all these files are now represented on my local machine here. So uh, I'm going to decide what I'm going to change. I'm just going to uh, switch the order of some buttons. I'm gonna change the color of the CSS just so I have a couple of files in my repo that are that are different. Um, so let me just pick uh, like a nice blue, something like that. Why not? Yeah, I like that. So I'll copy that hex value and head to my CSS, and it is right here. That's a dark blue. So I'll save that file. And what happens when I save? I just hit Control S to save, is uh, my Git panel lit up here and said, oh, you've made a change. So if I click on that, it'll show me the change. And this is representing the file saved on disk versus the last change committed uh, to Git. So this, uh, so Git knows that this change happened. Um, and just so I have two files that are different, I'll also just kind of swap these buttons around just to show what it looks like. So I'm gonna save this file and this will light up and say, oh, you have two changes now. So I can click on index, view my changes. Um, so these are deletions and additions. Um, you can get to this in the terminal by using git diff. And then you, you can, uh, if you just git diff, it shows you um, what's changed in your new files. But having an editor with this built in is really nice for comparing files uh, before you save, uh, before you push anything, you can make sure that you made all the changes you want and you didn't make any changes that you want to undo. Um, so at this point, if I click stage all, that's the same as the uh, terminal command git add uh, dot. You can git add dot, you can git add one file at a time, but git add is the same thing right there and git remove would be unstage. So git add. And uh, once I do that, it's ready to be committed. Um, so I, I can keep editing files and decide if I wanna make this a part of my stage. And what the stage is, is uh, you can pick the files that you want to apply as a particular commit in time. So you can decide, you know what, I just wanna make one commit for my style. So I'll do plus and I'll say uh, change the color and then control enter is a shortcut there. And then I can do plus and say uh, changed button order. I'll look at that again. Um, but if I decide that I don't wanna change the button order, I can uh, unstage that and then hit this arrow, clean. So that's the same as git clean. So we have git add, we have git clean, uh, and then we have git commit. So this is the same thing as saying git commit dash m and then your commit message. So now that those commits have been made, uh, all that's left is to push. And there's a shortcut here to do git push. 
Uh, but I kind of prefer the terminal for that. So git push, just because it gives you a lot more feedback about what's happening. So you can say, uh, yes, master, it's a master, everything worked great. Um, but hitting git pull will do the same thing. So that should be it. I've pushed to GitHub. I can double check by saying um, git ref log. And uh, so I made that commit. And oh, that doesn't tell me that I've pushed. Uh, but git log will tell me what commits I've made. So back on GitHub. There it is, the changes have been made. Um, a minute ago, change the button order. So here is the page on GitHub pages that now reflect the changes that we were making on the local machine. So there you have it.